hello what's up everyone welcome back to another video now today i'll be showing you how i make this delicious coconut curry rice it was super tasty let's get started here i have some basmati rice already washed and clean some coconut milk i have some mixed vegetables i have chopped garlic and onion some seasoning salt and thyme and of course my curry powder so in my pot i'm gonna go in with some coconut oil and about half a teaspoon of curry powder or about a teaspoon depending on how you like yours curry and i'm gonna go in with the garlic and onion and i'm gonna give this a good mix saute this allow the garlic flavor to infuse into that curry oil and the onions to soften up a bit now i'm going to go in with the rice so i'm going to toast my rice for about two to three minutes so i'm just going to try and go in with all of the rice without adding any of the water and i'm going to mix until the rice is fully coated and nice toasty and yellow so this step took me about two to three minutes continuously stirring you don't want to walk away from this or the, um, the rice will start itching at the bottom and we don't want that now well, guys please remember to like share comment and follow for more awesome recipe like this one and if you haven't yet subscribed go ahead and hit that subscription button i will highly appreciate it So now that my rice is nice and coated and all the grains are yellow, I'm going to go in with my mixed vegetables, my seasoning salt and my thyme. And of course you taste and adjust to your liking. So um, if it tastes as if it wants more salt, you add it. You can not take it out so you want to make sure you add it in small amounts. So if you need more, you could add it without salting a pot. Now I'm just going to combine. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and add my coconut milk to this and some water. A full written um, recipe and measurement will be down below so you could go ahead and check it out. So I'm going to go in with some water and I'm going to give it a good mix to combine and distribute all the mixed vegetables throughout the rice. And at this point, you do not want a lot of water in the pot. You want the water just to be sitting on top of the rice you want to make sure that you could see the rice grain through it taste and adjust to your liking and if it needs more water you could add it but as i said before i will leave a written measurement to this particular amount and down in the description box and down below so you could go ahead and check it out so i'm going to cover my pot and i'm going to steam this for about 10 to 15 minutes on medium to low heat after that 10 to 15 minutes i'm going to remove the cover give it a little fluff allow the coconut custard and everything to be fully distributed toward the rice and then i'm going to cover again and let it steam for an additional 10 minutes to allow it to be nice and fluffy at this point it's not yet cooked but i want the custard to be on almost every rice grain so i'm just giving it a good mix or stir or whatever you want to say and cover it and allow it to sit for an additional 10 minutes now after that 10 minutes this is what my rice is looking like nice fluffy and fragrant and let me tell you this was amazing it paired well with my protein of choice which i will show you in a bit and guys try this recipe and comment down below and tell me what you think about it this is one of my absolute favorite way to cook my rice and eat my rice And that's it. It's that simple and easy to make this rice. It is looking so much prettier in real life. Um, the lighting is not giving it justice, but let me show you how I paired mine up. So I had this with some air fried jerk chicken, broccoli, and avocado. I did this as a meal prep. So yes, um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.